everybody, it's Cheryl with the Craft Nut 32, and I'm just sitting at my craft table, and I thought that I would do a quick video of some cards that I've made over the last little while. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of cards, but <laughs> I don't know, I'm hoping to do a couple of new projects soon. Um, I felt really flattered in that one of my friends asked if I could make up a whole bunch of thank you cards for her. She did a yard sale, and a lot of people came out and showed support, so she's sending out some thank you cards for that. And this is one that I came up with. It's something similar that I had done with my pretty yellow flowers, um, but I loved it so I thought I would continue on. I used some pink recollections paper and I embossed it with Swiss dots. This paper here is Can Company. The sentiment is a Martha Stewart stamp. The flowers are from Forever Young and the leaves are from Straight From The Nest. It's a standard A2 size cards um, and I had a lot of fun with this one. The one thing I did differently with this is I used a half inch circle punch for the center. I just had a really like a small strip of this paper left and I wanted to utilize all of the paper so I just used my punch instead of my Cricut for that one and it worked out really well. So the second card I made for her was this little card. Um, I thought I would do two and two um, different kinds of cards just for something fun. I thought that I don't know, just give a bit of variety. So I did one pretty and one fun card. Um, before was the pretty card, so this is the fun card. The, the solid paper is Recollections. The pattern paper here is um, Prima. The white paper, um, I think it's from Staples. My husband gets it for all his work stuff and I'm always grabbing it for my craft stuff. So <laughs> it's always something we have going back and forth. I've distressed the edge with um, Vintage Photo. The little um, square here is cut from Elegant Edges. The sentiment is from My Pink Stamper. The strawberry is from Simply Charmed. Instead of doing the face, because I was doing so many of them, I thought then uh, just the stamp on the face, so I used a Peachy Keen stamp to do that. And then I just wrapped a ribbon around this pattern paper. This little scallop here is popped up with some pop dots, and I thought it just gave it a nice little dimension. And I was really happy with how this one turned out. This was a nice quick card, so I just kind of did an assembly line for it. With the pretty card that I had made with the flowers, I first started by doing this card. And I love this card, but to me it looks more Christmassy. So I think what I'm going to do is at Christmas time, I've used some Martha Stewart glitter and I'm going to put the glitter in the center. And then I will have some Christmas thank you cards. Um, I just, I love the deep red and the green, and I love the yellow, it was like a nice rich fall time colors, but when I left and came back, to me it just shouted Christmas, so, um, maybe instead of the yellow I'll substitute a different color in, but I just thought, I'm going to give that one to her as well, but for when I make them, I'm going to put some glittered centers in there, and then we can send thank you notes to family members and stuff after Christmas. With the little flowers I did put on some glossy accents and it really shows nicely on this red card. I did um, on this yellow card, just, I used a distressing tool and I roughed up the edges and I used some vintage photo ink and I inked up the edges as well. Um, with my friend who did the yard sale, she's also moving so I wanted to have a cute little card for her and I'm going to give it to her after she moves, so it's an, I've been loving using the, all the bright colors, so another card with lots of bright colors, and I just thought this was so cute. I've been wanting to do this. I just moved myself. I was going to send these out, but everyone has called me since, and I kind of gave out all my information to the people I wanted to send the card with, or send the card to, so instead I made it for her. So this stamp is cut out from the Sentimentals uh, Cricut cartridge. It had the little five cent going up and down, I guess, um, vertically. I wanted to go horizontally, so I just used my Cricut, or my Gypsy rather, and I repositioned the pieces over top. Sorry about the noise, I'm down here with my son, and he's playing, he just found a noisy toy. The patterned paper is from Costco. The cow is from Create a Critter. The sentiment is from my pink stamper. Um, I used the pink from the pattern paper here is reversible, so I used the um, pink from the reversed side for the cow's nose. 
kind of give it like a nice bright kind of tie in. I didn't want like a different shade with all the bright colors. And I did pop up the cow. So I hope, Deborah, if you're watching, that you turn it off so far <laughs> or you're going to see what you're going to get. Um, I also have distressed the edge of this with vintage photo. And I had a blast doing all these cards. I love doing cards. It seems like that's what I'm always doing. I have some scrapbook pages that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit once I have two or three ready. I do more cards just because they're quick and easy to go and I don't really have a lot of time for scrapbooking. It seems for me anyways, it takes forever to do a scrapbook page. <laughs> it's just lining everything up and getting it straight and I don't know, just as I start my scrapbooking I always think of something new that I'd like to add or that kind of thing anyway. So it seems like it uh, takes me a long time to put together a scrapbook page, just choosing all the photos that I want to include. Then when I make one, I always want to make some more. So anyways, I have a whole bunch like started, just not completed, so when I complete them, I will post them. Anyways, thanks all for watching, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye!